Okay, I have a two hour window where I might not be completely hammered by rain. So instead of driving all over the place, driving distance and getting zero time to fish, I'm gonna go to my local lake. lake it's a cool park and I never fish here it's like five minutes from my house and I never fish it so today I'm gonna wear it out for a couple of hours or until I get poured on with the rain because we've got some really really crazy weather coming our way today gonna take for right now I've got a swim bait hooked up on my get, get, oh, on, get, there we go that's what I want just one just taking this one and I'm kind of hooked up on a drop shot from the river drop shot is one of my favorite sneaky ways to catch them during spawn because you just kind of dangling it right over their bed but if these guys are post spawn, I might not <laughs> might not be with the drop shot very long here. Um, I do have my weight scale in case I catch anything good. CJ, I brought this, so we'll see. It's quiet. There's no wind, so this is like perfect for a little finesse fishing this morning. And I'm not even going to get on the dock yet. I don't want to goof around at some of these little areas. And I do have, ouch, ouch, a brand new sharp hook. Gamagatsu's. Gama got me. That's what happened. Draw blood? Nah. Nah. All right. Now watch, I'm gonna put a Guggen bait on and, and it's gonna get bit. I'm telling you folks, the scent on that Guggen bait is far and beyond what most baits are scented up with. I mean, obviously there's some anise in it, but it's like, it's almost like I'm smelling what I used to fish, like the bay when I'd use cut bait. It smells like squid. Like, so I get a little bit of scent of that, maybe some shrimp, but I'm telling you, Between the shape of what it is, because it kind of looks like a crawl, or some sort of, oh, segmented worm. That's a little nibble. I, it is nibbled. Come on. It's a short fish, but got the skunk off me nonetheless. Eh, yeah, I think it's short. number one pretty little fish a little lean a little buck bass you are not a girl let's get this out of you first so bio spawn fish number one nowhere near nah maybe a 10 inch or 10 inches is better than no inches though huh very pretty Thank you for playing along. Go get bigger. So there's dink number one down. Let's see if he's 
got a big sister hanging out anywhere. That was a little fish over there. I know that there's some good stuff right through here. There always has been. That's a little bite. Question is, what are you? Number two, dink number two, coming right at me. <laughs> Cute little fish. Got to give him credit. He's a cutie. Just spit my worm. Right in the top of the lip. I can tell you right now that uh, that biospawn is not a floating worm. Retrieve anything, but yeah, he's got a little little kind of goo on his maybe got hooked in the back at one point and it's starting to heal or since there's another one right here it could be a talon of some sorts maybe a, a heron was after him and he made a quick getaway anyways we'll see you have fun bye this is pavilion two access to So we're, we just fished access one. We're gonna fish access two, three, skip four, cause you have to have an RV or be camped here. Yes, there are campgrounds and yes, they're clean and they're very cool. Electric hookups, if you're RV in, there are 10 spots. So I think, I think I'm gonna do a time limit on myself here. There's a beaver dam right back there, which is super cool. But I'm going to start with this lay down and then just kind of work my way back to the beaver dam and uh, move on. And of course I wasn't filming, but that's a decent kitty cat. Do I? I could. I might. That's just about a good eater size right there. Good catfish fillet. Uh, nah. I think we're gonna let Mr. Kitty Cat go. All right, get on back, little doggy, little kitty. How are you still stuck? How is that possible? Like you shouldn't be stuck to anything. There we go. See ya. Rocket City. That's awesome. All right. See a lot of bait fish. Yeah, every so often we get lucky. There's a bit of a secondary point here. There we go. Right at me. Sitting right off the edge of this point. Just like it's supposed to. But it's another squeak. I'll take the squeaks though. Squeaks need love too. Very pretty fish. Don't it? Little guy. No, nope, you're short. They're little though, they're so little. smallest of the morning. Look at those beautiful eyes though. Man, this is pretty for a bass. Usually you, you see dark eyes. 
Come on. Let's get you out of that. Take a look at these eyes. No, don't worry, little guy. Very pretty. All right. Back we go. I don't know how long this is going to be. Because the rain's starting to come in. I can switch GoPros, I guess. good fish. That was a good fish. Did you guys see that? That was awesome. Alright, we're going to see how long this lasts. Probably not long. I know my audio is garbage because it's raining, so I had to put on the, uh, the old crusty GoPro. That's the best cast I've made. Had a little lull in the wind. Fishing in the rain, folks. Fishing in the rain. Access 5. Fish caught. Not the fish I'm looking for, though. The fish I'm looking for is a lot bigger. But, nonetheless, I'll take you.
Six or seven, I don't know. Go back. See you. Second fish at access five. See ya. Well, we started at seven. Uh, we couldn't finish at 7. <laughs> 